Hi there, I'm Craig from Ottawa Swordplay, and again, I've got Sean and Marla with me today, and we're going to be talking about uh, a dagger drill, our dagger five-step drill, and uh, this is one of several sequence drills that we practice, and we do have a particular thing that is useful, we find, for doing these, which is we always start with the first step, do that as its own thing, and then add the second step, do that as its own thing. We'll show how that works, and... Um, some other time I'll talk about why that's important. But uh, we have another video where we talk about basic dagger stance, attack, and defense. Uh, so we're going to go a little bit quickly through the first couple. But Sean and Marla are in our basic dagger stance. And to begin this drill, Marla is going to do our basic dagger attack and stab Sean. And because this is step one, he's going to stand there and be stabbed. And then we're going to reset and we're going to go to step two in which Marla is going to attack and Sean is going to do the basic defense and then he can sort of follow that up with whatever uh, makes sense to him. Uh, we have a number of follow-up options uh, that we can do. Now our step three uh, is that Marla is going to counter Sean's defense. And there's a few ways that she could do this. This is just the one that we have chosen. So she's gonna do her basic attack. Sean's gonna do the basic block. And at this point, she's going to intentionally lift the point of her dagger and bring it around his arm to the other side. And then she's gonna push it in like she's doing a hook punch to push his hand away. And that will actually, even if he's gripping her wrist, that should be able to break his grip open because it's going through the gate of the hand. And then she's going to stab him underneath the arm. And as Marla has done here, I like to keep my fist against Sean's wrist or the defender's wrist because you're then controlling their arm. All right, so that is our step three. So for step four, we're gonna let Sean win again. So Marla's gonna do her attack, Sean's gonna do the block, Marla's gonna wind over top, and as she pushes across with the hook punch, Sean's going to let her hand slip by in front of the palm of his hand, and now he's controlling her hand again. He's gonna push that into her. I like to push it into the hip, just kinda like Sean has done here, and now he can stab her wherever he wants to because he's controlling her weapon. So that's our step four. Our step five, again, we're gonna let Marla win. And because Lichtenauer believes that the advantage goes to the person who acts first, we usually like to finish all of these sequences with the person who initiated the attack winning at the end. Uh, so for this one, we're gonna do the same step. Marla attacks, Sean does the block, Marla winds her point over top, pushes, Sean lets the hand slip, and now Marla's gonna do a big Triangle step. This is a tutta volta, according to Fiori, uh, but we don't have names for steps like that. And as she does that, she's going to stab. And she has stepped to the far side of Sean, where it is hard for him to reach, and bypassed the direction of his hand pressure. And so that's our five step drill for the dagger. And if they were practicing this a lot, they would gradually try and make it flow more smoothly and repeat all of the steps one at a time so that if we know we're going to step five, sometimes we be, get a little bit sloppy with step one and we don't want to do that. Now, I did want to mention that while all of these techniques are individual valid techniques, it's very parallel to one particular uh, technique we see in Codex Wallerstein, which is one of the dagger failures. And uh, for this one, Marla's going to initiate her attack. And when Sean goes to defend, she's going to start to turn before her hand reaches his. So she's actually bypassing the connection and then she's following through with that step. Now, uh, in the manuscript, they very vividly show the dagger going right into the defender's crotch, which maybe we don't want to do if we like our training partner, but basically you can stab them wherever we want to as we do this technique. And uh, yeah, the uh, medieval sword masters had a very robust sense of humor about stabbing people in the crotch. All right, that's it for our dagger five-step drill and also the failure from Codex Wallerstein. 